I honestly don't know how to describe how much or how much I was terrified and just shocked by talk to me. This movie is the brainchild of Raka Raka. Uh, two Australian brothers made five minute YouTube videos and now they went off to do a feature film that got so much love and praise at Sundance and was then bought by the A24. And and after watching Talk To Me, I understood the hype. Like, I, I knew it was gonna be pretty good, but I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It was just... Okay, something that just like really um, I love about, like, not just Talk To Me, but some other films that I've seen within the past couple years is how they put story first, then, or like, they put story characters first, then their genre next. So like, let me give you an example. And this was, and this was something, I, well, my film, one of my film professors gave an example to this. How the Fablemans, it's a, like we look at it, it's about, um, it's an, semi-autobiography about Steven Spielberg getting into filmmaking but it's actually more about a family struggling with divorce and here with Talk To Me um, it's horror but it's a more character driven horror and drama and Raka Raka just definitely nailed this um one of my roommates uh went and saw the movie with me and there were just so many moments we were just like taking deep breaths i was just like <laughs> i was like getting so stressed my heart was beating and throughout so many of these moments um oh yeah spoilers if, if you have not okay if you have not seen talk to me Go watch it. Go to your theater and watch the fucking movie. All right. Um, the scene where Riley is just like smashing his head. Moments like that rarely just make me shocked, disturbed, and terrified. I was just like, like watching that. I, I didn't, I didn't know what. To, the only things I could feel was like, I, I were those words that I described, and it, it, it really caught me off guard. The sound, the amount of blood, the brilliant acting, uh, and that's not the only moment. No, there are more. There's like uh, the people just grabbing a hold of Riley. And something that one, my roommate, uh, one of my roommates mentioned was like when the little girl showed up, he had to like take some deep breaths and like, it was just a terrifying feeling. I, I honestly don't know what else to say about Talk To Me. It has some, some of the best acting I've seen in indie horror or just any horror. Uh, it has some characters we we understand, care for, and just feel like actual people and not just plot devices or anything. And like some genuinely terrified moments that really just give you chills, like just make you shake. I know this film definitely did. Um, also, um, I saw this at the Alamo, and before they played the movie or any of the trailers, they just showed part of Raka Raka's YouTube video about um, how it starts with making their YouTube videos or just normal films, 
and how they're making a movie. They tell everyone that their film got accepted to Sundance, and then their film was bought by A24. It was just such a motivating, like, it, it really made me motivate. Like, stories like that are just so, they're so, like, heartfelt. These guys really cared about making something great. I find that, I find that amazing. Now, before I end the video, there's something I do want to say. So, on August 8th, A24 announced a sequel in development called Talk To Me. And before seeing it, I was like, honestly, a bit skeptical. I was just thinking, this isn't like A24. They wouldn't just greenlit a sequel. Normally, like, for a film like this, they just... They just wouldn't do all that cash grab sequel stuff. Like, they just end the story as it is. I was wrong. Like, after seeing the movie, I realized, okay, I understand why they greenlit a sequel, and now I'm excited for one. I'm really excited to see how um, everyone involved could, like, advance the story, like offer some new things. It's not often that I see A24 do sequels, but I think they have, they put their faith in Raka Raka. They know that they're going to make something amazing, just like, just like the first talk to me. So yeah, um, and it's so so cool to see this do so well at the box office. It had a budget of like three or four million dollars. It's made like forty over forty seven million worldwide. Ah, horror's in a great place, with films like Barbarian, Smile, The Boogeyman. We're seeing a renaissance, baby. A renaissance in not just cinema but also horror cinema. And Talk To Me was a great example of an amazing piece of horror cinema. Raka Raka, keep doing amazing things. I'm, I'm proud of you guys.